What's up friends, I am US Army veteran Christopher Chaos and let's talk Army. So the first story I want to talk about is the possibility of the US Army changing the Army physical fitness test. Now this is something they've been talking about for a long time. Even when I was in the military, they talked about changing it from its normal three event, the push up, sit up and two mile run to adding in there like maybe like a, a road march or something else in there that's more combat related, maybe like some kind of casualty drag. And three event physical fitness test has been in place for nearly 40 years. So this would be a huge change if they did actually follow through and change the army physical fitness test. Now, if you don't know anything about the army physical fitness test, I have a link down below in the description to a video that I did explaining all the ins and outs of how the current army physical fitness test works. With this new one, it would go away from the typical three events that they have with the push up, sit up and two mile run and go to six events. It would also change the name. Currently it's called the APFT, the Army Physical Fitness Test, to the ACRT, or Army Combat Readiness Test. And the reason why they kind of want to change stuff up is they don't feel that doing push-ups and doing sit-ups and running two miles is necessarily effective enough to show if a soldier is prepared for combat and ready for that. Now, while that tests endurance very well, it doesn't test a lot of other things as far as a soldier's readiness for combat. Now, a study that has been done by the U.S. Army says that the current APFT is really only 39% effective in predicting how well a soldier will do in combat. While they say this new ACRT test could possibly be 81% effective in predicting how well a soldier could do in combat. And there are actually five posts total that are actually running the test on this and trying it out and kind of seeing how it works and kind of analyzing the results. So let's break down the six events in this possible new physical fitness test that the Army would adopt. So first you have the T push-up. Now I guess this is somewhat similar to a regular push-up, however when a soldier gets down to the ground they spread their arms out in a T-like formation before returning back to the up position. So this is still kind of similar to the push-up event, just a little bit different and it's done in two minutes still so I'm assuming there's probably some kind of uh, count or number that the soldier must reach based on their age or whatever the criteria might be for how many of these T push-ups they're going to have to do in the two minutes. Next event is a 250 meter sprint drag and carry. Soldier begins in the down or prone position, stands up and sprints 25 meters and back, followed by a walking backward while pulling a weighted sled to the line and back. Once back at the starting line, they grab two 30 pound kettles, returning to the far line and back. After returning, this exercise requires them to sprint the 25 meters to the far line and back. This is a timed event. So I'm guessing there's probably some kind of time limit you have to reach based on how old you are or something. And it seems like there's a lot of organization that has to be kind of done with this event. It's not as simple as the previous two mile run where you run out a mile and come back. There's a lot more that probably the organizers of the event are gonna have to kind of do uh, beforehand before giving this event to soldiers. Next event is called a leg tuck. This is kind of similar to a pull-up. I know the Marines use pull-ups in their physical fitness test, but the Army is using this different thing called the leg tuck. And what the leg tuck is, is a soldier must grasp the bar with an alternating neutral grip in the dead hang position before flexing the elbows, hips, and waist to bring the knees up, touching both elbows before returning to the dead hang position and repeat as many times as possible. So not quite as much effort being used, like in a pull-up you have to use pretty much all arm strength to kind of pull yourself up, mostly anyways. Um, where this one sounds like it's more of a combination of arm strength, probably with your abs, because you're kind of you know flexing and bringing your knees up. So be a little bit, I would think, easier. I don't know, I'd have to kind of try it, which I'm horribly out of shape, so I don't know. If you, one of you guys want to try it, try it out. Let me know which is easier, a pull-up or this new event. The next event is called the standing power throw. Soldiers must face backwards holding a 10 pound medicine ball lower it to touch the ground, rise up and throw the ball backwards over their head as far as possible. Soldiers are allowed to practice throw and two record attempts. Sounds like something you do in the Olympics, but I don't know, it's pretty interesting. You definitely need to make sure that the area behind the soldier is clear so you don't end up with someone getting whacked in the head with a medicine ball. Definitely sounds pretty interesting. Maybe there's some kind of distant kind of regulation as far as how far the soldier has to throw it based on their age um, to be able to get a pass. The next event is the three repetition deadlift. Soldier steps inside a trap bar, feet shoulder width apart, and bends at the knees and hips while reaching down to grasp the handles with arms fully extended. Stands up and lifts the bar by extending hips and knees until becoming fully upright. Pauses, 
returns the bar to the floor while maintaining flat back and without leaning over. This is repeated two more times for a total of three repetitions. So maybe on this one there's a weight that the soldier has to do. So this also may require the unit that's conducting this type of physical fitness test to bring multiple different weights for different age groups, I don't know. And then the last event, they still have a two mile run, which sounds like it's just the same as the traditional two mile run that they currently use in the APFT. Right now they don't have any kind of scoring for this new physical fitness type of test. Right now they're saying it's kind of just a go or a no go type of situation. So they might not do it like they used to do where like I talked about in my other video with 60%, 80%, 100% for different events. It may just be either, either you passed or you failed one way or the other. So what do you guys think about this new proposed physical fitness test? Do you think it'd be better than the old physical fitness test or worse? Leave your comments down below. Also, I'd love to know what event do you think would be the most challenging? The next thing I wanna talk about is some uniform changes. Now, the Army has already recently changed how the uniform looks for just the everyday soldier working in the motor pool, doing their job and out in combat. It wasn't long ago that the Army was using a digital type of camouflage pattern called the ACUs. Now the newer uniform still has a digital kind of look, but it's called the OCP camouflage or the operational camouflage pattern. And that one's still kind of being transitioned in. Some soldiers use the old ACU, some use the newer version. It just kind of really kind of goes back and forth between different soldiers and different units. But now the army is looking to change it up again. Now they would still keep that OCP pattern, but they're looking to just try to make the uniform lighter. One of the problems that they're having is that the current uniform just soaks up too much water. So it's really bad in like jungle environments because it just absorbs water like crazy. So the new proposed uniform would be much lighter so that way it's easier to dry out and just lighter weight in general. It mostly just removes a lot of pockets and some Velcro stuff and is just made of a lighter material. Right now they're just trying to test this out in more jungle type of environments. So there are units in Hawaii that are currently testing it out to see how well it works. And then from there, the army will evaluate if they want to kind of, you know, take this and take it army wide. So this uniform is also much lighter, so it's more ideal in hot weather type of conditions or tropical conditions. And it kind of seems like that's where they're kind of gearing it towards is maybe units that would be operating in tropical environments. So it may not be something that rolls out completely army wide. It may just be kind of select units here and there that are maybe scheduled to go somewhere as tropical or do a lot of training in somewhere that is tropical. So we may not necessarily see it replace the current uniform, but we may start seeing it uh, with different units and different units kind of utilizing this uniform if tests continue to go successfully. The next uniform change that we could possibly see in 2018 is the dress uniform. Now, I liked it when they switched from the green uniform to the dress blues as being the permanent one, where before dress blues were only for special occasions and everything, and then they decided to make the dress blues the new permanent uniform, which I really like the style of that one. This new proposed uniform kind of actually goes old school and brings back an old look that maybe some of you have seen before. The army is potentially looking at bringing back what used to be called the pinks and greens back in the World War II era. The uniform has that old style olive coat with khaki blouse kind of look to it that soldiers wore back in the World War II era and you see in a lot of movies from that time period. In this picture here, you can actually see two soldiers standing with the Sergeant Major of the Army. Sergeant Major of the Army Daily is actually wearing the current uniform and the two soldiers to his left and right are wearing the possible new uniform that the Army could adopt. I think it's a pretty cool throwback kind of thing, but I still think that the dress blues look a lot more fancier, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys prefer the current one, the dress blues, or would you like to see this kind of throwback World War II era type of uniform? So what do you guys think about the stories in this video? What do you think about the new physical fitness tests that the Army could adopt? And what do you think of the new uniform styles that the Army may adopt next year as well? So this is a new type of show that I'll start doing on this channel where I start talking about different things that are happening in the Army. If you like this, make sure to hit the thumbs up so I know that you like this type of content. If you're not subscribed to the channel, maybe you think about hitting that subscribe button right down there. But I'm Christopher Chaos, and I will see you next time. See ya.